Hello and welcome back. In the last section, we did a lot of project initialization and we set up our HTTP server in Express in our Node API. And now it is time to start taking this a bit further. And this next section is going to be dedicated to creating a router in our Express server that will allow us to add different endpoints and services to our API. So basically the goal for the end of this section is we want to have the beginnings of the login, register and log out endpoints in our API. We're not going to focus on actually implementing the, the specific functionality of those specific points, but rather just to make sure that we're able to to reach those endpoints in our browser by navigating to slash login or slash register and just make sure that um, that endpoint re uh, receives that uh, request and can um, send some type of dummy response. That's kind of what we're aiming for now. And in order to do that uh, in this lesson, we're just going to uh, get right into it and we're going to start setting up um, our project to be able to implement this router that we are talking about. Okay, so getting started uh, right away, what I want to do is just get our node API up and running. And so in my terminal here on the left, I am in the server folder of our, our passport local strategy project. And you can see by doing an ls, I've got my files and folders that are listed out here on, on the right. You can see them being uh, listed out over there. At the end of last section, we set up Nodebun and now I can simply do a node start and our server will be up and running and Nodebun is watching for any changes. So as we go along and make changes to our API, it'll auto or it will hot reload our server. So that's, that's good. So the first thing I wanna do is add a new folder to our project. Make sure that uh, we are in the, the server folder and we will create a new subfolder in here and we are gonna call this lib. Um, short for library and this is going to contain some files that we're going to be adding to our um, API as we go along. So once we've got that folder uh, set up, let's create a new file in there. Uh, this file is going to be called router.js. Hit enter and that file should be created. Now what we want to do is we want to um, get access to express in this file that we've just created. So like we did in our index.js, we're going to import express by requiring it uh, through that npm package that we installed in our project. Now that we've got that imported, the first thing we want to do is use express to, to create a router that we can then make use of in our index.js file. So I'm going to get the setup. I'm going to say let underscore equals express dot and then you'll see as we're accessing these functions there's this router method here and we can just initialize that with our parentheses so on this underscore that we've just created if we use a the dot notation you'll see that we've got access to a whole lot of different functions that we're able to make use of um, in our router we see the use function here we've used that in our index.js we see get post and there's a whole lot of other things. There's a, a patch over here put there as a delete. And so basically each one of these methods we can set up to handle a post, a get. There's the, the all that we can use to, to handle all kind of methods uh, that get called in our API. And so just to test this out and make sure that we've got it all up and running, uh, I'm just going to make use of this all function over here. And as with the other express routes that we used um, in the index.js, when we use this use, it's kind of the same setup. We need to pass in a string of sorts of uh, what we want this to be. And so I'm going to just say forward slash ping, and then I'm going to set up my request handler. And as we learned in that last section, this request handler will receive a request and a response. And so just to test this out in a set similar fashion, I'm going to do a a response or a res.json and then we'll send back a message and we'll just say ping OK and that's all good for now. So now we've got this basic router set up. I guess the next question is how do we wire this up and make sure that the express server that we set up here is able to access this router. And so let's take a quick break here. And in the next lesson, we'll work on wiring our router up into our index.js file. So I'll see you on over there. Cheers for now.